Hi, today I'm going to be talking about conformity and obedience. And joining me this evening, we have... Hey, whoa. I'm Mrs. Pose. Okay, so how we're going to start this off is what I'm going to do, I'm going to address a scenario. So, let's say, for instance, you have a lot of schoolwork to do this weekend. And so, you need to get it done because, well, term grades are closing real soon. But... There's this girl. All right, she really wants to meet you. You know, she's really pretty. So you're just like, Oh, hey. And then she's all like, Oh, hi, Duncan. You wanna hang out and go get ice cream? Oh, sure, I love ice cream. So you're getting all hype, right? But then, as soon as you're about to leave the door, Duncan, stop talking to those girls and get your homework done. Your mom walks in. But mom... This girl's really pretty. They're all really pretty. But not as pretty as I am right now. Anyway. You need to keep your head in the game. I'm taking that car. I keep telling you I'm taking the car. You're not going to graduate. Nag, nag, nag. The list goes on. So this is where the conflict comes into play. Either you go hang out with a girl, or you do your schoolwork. Now, there's consequences to both here. Now, if you don't go see the girl, she'll probably say something like, Oh, well, you're probably talking to somebody else. Now, the obvious consequences of not doing your schoolwork is you fail the term, you don't graduate, you stay back a year, whichever grade you're in. Now, the obvious choice here would obviously go see the girl. I mean, do your schoolwork, because that's obviously the most important task at hand. So, what you're supposed to be doing is you're supposed to be studying for the big exam coming up in your college final. Or whatever you're doing. But then there's your surfing friend, Kyle, who loves the beach. Him and his friends want to go to the beach and surf. Now, of course, they never got their license. So you're the only one who can drive them. So they come up to you one day and they're like, Dude, what's up? Let's go to the beach. Uh, I can't. I have this big test to study for. Sorry. The wind dude! Come on, dude. Come on, dude. We'll give you ten bucks for gas. Ten bucks? That's all you got. That's all we got. <coughs> we don't have a job. Dude, come on! You're so lame -o. We didn't graduate, so, you know. Yeah. We don't have a good job. We can't go. Can we give you ten bucks? <laughs> uh, okay, guys, I, I really can't. I, I really have to study for this. If I don't, I'm going to fail. I'm, I'm really sorry. Ugh! Not cool, bro! You're so lame -o. The hood's coming off now. Dude, what's your problem? Such a loser. Loser. You know what I'm gonna do with that textbook of yours? I'm gonna burn it with fire. So you're stuck between going with your bros and having fun or studying for the exam, which is more important. So you have two options. Either you cave in to the pressure and go with your friends, or you stay, study, and pass the exam. So that's about it for this video. Uh, I need a drink, hold on. Oh. Mom, what were you drinking? Oh, Mom, what'd you put in here? Oh, I'm really feeling something now. <laughs> oh, I don't like drugs. Mom! It's just something kind of very spicy. It gets me through the day.